November numbers are in the house. Let's get started. Alrighty then. everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Rob Howe, Rockstar Realtor. Welcome to our monthly market update for December 2020. And in this issue, we have a very special edition. We will be going over November 2020 numbers and also new home build numbers. They finally posted a report, so we're able to actually let you know what's going on with new home construction. They're banging away at those things. Yes. I'm guessing. They are. And the Las Vegas real estate market is still on fire for the sixth consecutive month and we do not see it slowing down anytime soon. Nope. It is fueled quite a bit yes. by what's happening. So. And we predict possibly it'll fuel till spring, summertime. I mean, right now, that's what I'm thinking. I, you, you kind of project out 90 days at a time, uh, which would bring us into spring at this point, or roughly spring. I still think that even at that point, there's no reason for us to believe that we're going to see too much slowdown. As a matter of fact, um, you know, you might see a little bit more inventory start coming on the market. People might get a little bit more uh, comfortable, comfortable, but uh, does that? I don't see our demand changing too much. No, not at all. I don't think the demand will change. And hopefully, once the vaccine's in place, people will start feeling comfortable. Once restrictions are lifted, sellers will want to sell again. Yeah, I think that's very, very uh, possible. And uh, there's a couple of other reasons why they're not doing it, but uh, that will certainly loosen things up. Yep. There were 3,035 single family homes that sold in November, which is down. 5.9% from October, but up 26.1% from the prior year. And the reason we feel that it's up against last year's numbers is because traditionally during the December, November, December timeframe, homes aren't selling as much. Yeah, sellers kind of know traditionally it's not the best time to sell your home. And a lot of, let's just say even just people know they're, they're coming into the holidays and all that. Right. They're going to be concentrating on other things. So they generally say, let's wait till springtime. Let's wait even to eat. Fall can still be fairly popular. But once we get into these uh, later uh, winter, in, months. In winter months, it usually slows down pretty, pretty well. Um, so that's what we're, we're, why we're seeing that. Exactly. And the medium sales price of previously owned single family homes went from 340,200 in October to drum roll 345,000 in November. Wow. Which is up 1.4% from October and up 12.4% from the prior year. So obviously it's a typical supply and demand. We don't have enough inventory to support the influx of people that are coming to Las Vegas. Yeah, so if you bought a $340,000 property roughly right now, you paid around $4,800 more for it. Yeah. Yeah. And what we talk about is what's really driving this medium price or people buying is not only just people wanting to get out of their states, but also because of the lower interest rates, the historically low interest rates right now. So Rob had a great analogy as to um, buying high with the lower interest rates. Right, so it, with a lower interest rate, you can actually buy at a higher price and have a similar mortgage if you had a higher interest rate and a lower price. So actually it can be even better, uh, it, it, depending on how high that is. So right. lower interest rates really, really do save you a lot on your mortgage payment. So people are not afraid to pay a little bit more when they're seeing that their mortgage payment is still gonna be low. Right. Why does it matter if what your monthly nut is doesn't really hurt you? So the prices can go up. 
And so people sometimes don't always understand that that's what's happening. Um, they think, oh, wow, it's just the price thing. Well, what, what is the bottom line? What am I paying monthly? Right, exactly, the bottom line. You know, next year we have a lot of clients or a lot of people out there are waiting for the market to crash and to go down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, it may go down, but what are the interest rates going to be? So in the end, it's like a balancing act. It's, yeah. it's half a six, what's that famous saying? Yeah. I always get it wrong. Half, <laughs> half, uh, half, half a dozen in one hand, uh, uh, wait. Six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it, it, and ultimately it's the same. Um, and who knows how long these low interest rates are going to be. Uh, right. We have a feeling that by second quarter next year that they may go up. Yes, I've been told by a little birdie that the uh, bond market is going to have some changes. And that little birdie has rarely been wrong, if ever. On to the luxury market. Last month, we had 90 homes over a mill sell. Compared to the month before of 92, it was just slightly a two home decrease. However, the median price in luxury homes increased. It went from 1.382 million to 1.5 million. So right that's on the huge, huge. That's 117,000 at 500 increase in media yeah. price on the luxury market so that's crazy and that's happening because we're having higher sales yes there there are uh more expensive luxury homes that are selling they're popping off the market they're and flying off the shelf some yeah. only lasting on the market for zero, zero days, days. <laughs> they're getting sold before they're <laughs> even listed basically yes and but you know some have been sitting on the market for a while but that be could be because it was overpriced to begin with so for November, there were only 2,766 new listings that hit the market, which is not a lot at all. Um, and that's down 23% from October and up 4.3% from the prior year. So obviously we know that we are very, very anemic right now. Yeah, and it's a dwindling supply. Very dwindling supply. Plus, to top it off, it is the holiday season, so a lot of sellers are not wanting to list right now. And also, another double whammy is the C word. Yeah, yeah, so I think you have that. You have the people uncomfortable, you have people at refi, they're staying in the homes for longer. That Then you have the idea that people are just still set in a traditional mindset. I'm not, I'm not willing to sell right now. Um, which is something, if you were thinking about doing it a month or two later, you should reconsider, because here's the deal. The demand is extremely high. It's still high. People are still out there looking for houses. I went to go tour some new homes this weekend. Oh my God, it was right. so crowded. And that's, uh, you know, when we go talk to our agents, our, the sales agents that we're working with at these new homes, yeah. they're all, they'll, they'll all just look at us and go, ah, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> they are just over it. I yes. mean, of course they're happy, just like we are, but it is a lot of work that's happening for them. And it's just no let up, really. Yeah, not, no let up at all. So if you are a seller and you are contemplating on selling and want to wait to the springtime, I would reconsider that. I have a listing going live next week. You know, listings are still happening. I have buyers. We have buyers that are on the pause button because there's nothing on the market. So yeah. if you have a home that's in a desirable area in great condition that you know will sell fast, right. give us a call. Absolutely. You should be calling and... Here's the thing, these buyers, we've trained them <laughs> to be set like traps so that when a good property comes up, wham, yep. we go out and get it. And that's really what's happening. I mean, of course, if we're doing it, there's a lot of other people doing it as well. So uh, you have to be ready and you have to remember that because if you've got a property that's awesome and you know it, then it's going to do well for you. And that's a known factor. What do we like? We like known factors. Known factors. There was also a total number of 3,756 homes listed without offers last month, which is down 16.6% from October and down 42.5% from the prior year. And this is, I've never seen it that little before. Now again, this is all single family homes. The video would be extremely long if we went over condos. If you want to learn more about the condos, I always post a link down in the description below about how the market went. Good, good, yeah. Um, I mean, just 
more of the same. I mean, it's like, we don't want to be too redundant here, but... Found it in your hair. Yeah. Yeah. Which takes us to the months of supply. We went from 1.4 months of supply last month down to 1.2 months of housing supply, which is down 11.3% from the prior month and down 54.4% from last year. Wow. <laughs> so there's a lot of factors as to why the months of supply is down. And we think, we know, that actually it's probably only one month of supply because the other point two is renter occupied. Tenant occupied homes, which are not appealing to most buyers, especially primary, rent, uh, primary purchasers. Right. So those are like, this is the little hidden uh, numbers inside the numbers that tell you that it's actually less so you know you see these houses and if you know that a percentage of them are probably not even going to be considered well you got less yeah and if you are looking to rent in vegas we wish you luck oh. <laughs> yes <laughs> because i get a lot of people contacting us wanting to rent an apartment and just an FYI, real estate agents don't work with apartments. That's a whole nother ball of wax. Yeah. That's something that we don't do. If you are looking to get an apartment here in Vegas, just go to apartments.com. Apartments.com. Zillow.com. They have rent there. We don't mention the Z word. Yeah. But <laughs> the most important factor is when it comes to renting houses, it is bleak. Yes. It's, it, it, the inventory is extremely low in rentals as well. And you have, what you have is that normally these properties would be coming available, but we have some eviction moratoriums still in place. You have some workouts that are being done and people are staying in these properties longer than they normally would. So they're not coming available. Plus we still have a large influx of people coming here searching right. for those rentals and they're coming from higher priced places. So they don't really look at the prices as bad. So if you're here and you're used to that price uh, or used to a price, and then you go look for your new rental home and you go, oh my goodness, I got to pay $150 more a month or whatever. And you have to not even look at it before you can apply at it because that's how it is. Yeah. You, you got to just apply on these things. Yes. Yeah. That is another factor as to why we're getting so much uh, demand for purchases because people are saying, I got to get out of this rat race. <laughs> if it wasn't bad before, it's extremely bad now. It's also another reason why I believe that home ownership has been strengthened this year. I'm going to talk about it more on my channel, um, and I'm sure she'll talk about it as well, uh, to sort of round out the 2020 year. Home ownership has been strengthened because there are things like workouts that can be done if you do get behind. What do you do if you're in a rental? You have to work it out with the owner, yeah. and that is a random, randomized thing. Uh, with the uh, with the banks, it's going to be a little bit more of a uh, process. They're going to have yeah. things in place, and that's what we're seeing. So, yeah. So if you're looking to rent here in Las Vegas, unfortunately, and I'm not just sound to sound rude, but we can't help you, unfortunately. Yeah. And the reason why a lot of real estate agents don't work in rentals and is because. And we only get maybe a $250 referral fee and we're out here showing you 20, 30 houses like you're a buyer. So ultimately, you, are, we have, you can't make a living. You can't make Plain a living. Plain and simple, if you're out here to, to, to be a real estate agent and you're showing rentals, you're not going to make a living. It's something that maybe you can do at the beginning of your career and certainly we, we would want to pass on leads that we have in a normal, it looked a little bit more traditional uh, market. market. We want to pass on to newer agents that we have coming on, but yeah, it's there's no living to be made. Um, it is really a favor that we have that we do that we perform for for our clients when we do it. Yeah, yeah. And if I do it, it has to be like super close to my house, and I don't have to travel. Far. <laughs> <laughs> Just a sixty-eight point eight percent of the closings was on the market in November for thirty days or less. In October, that number was 70.3%. And for November 2019, that number was 51.4% uh, of the homes was on the market for 30 days or less. So we're still hovering. I mean, 68.8 compared to 51.4 is so very good. Homes that are getting on the market that are nice, moving, ready, are selling fast Wham. within days, having multiple offers. Mm -hmm. um, 
but the homes that are either overpriced or need some work are staying on the market a little longer. But also that number could be because of um, rental. Some tenant occupied. tenant occupied. So we wanted to save the best for last and go over new home sales. New homes. They and look like this. This is for third quarter, and obviously this is very hard for us to come across. They only produce it every quarter by the New Home Builds Association, <laughs> by the Home Builders Research. So, um, so once I've got these numbers, I thought this was a golden ticket to go over in our monthly market update. And we're going to go over the top 12 new home communities across the valley. So for new constructions, and I'm going to use my little cheat sheet because it's not as uh, in my head as the other numbers. There were 4,453 sales from January through September, according to the Home Builders Research. And those same planned communities had 3,889 to the same period in 2019. So that's telling you that new homes are doing just as strong as resale homes for this year. Yeah. Okay. It, there's no surprise that people would be uh, t considering new homes a little bit more. No, exactly. Um, now, when you do buy a new home, the most important tip is hire a real estate agent before you even visit that new home. And that's as deep as we're going to get on it, right. but that's the tip. <laughs> we come free. We come free. And we're going to tell you more on the Robin Ann Show. Exactly. Um, so we're going to go over the top 12 community new home sales. Okay. And can you guess what the number one is? Um, I'd hope it's Summerlin. It is. Oh, <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Ding, ding, ding. So Summerlin recorded for 2020 so far 414 sales between July and September, a 20% gain over third quarter of 2019. So then the first nine months of 2020, Summerlin had 982 sales, which is 4% fewer of the third quarter of 2019, according to the Home Builders Research. Right. But the, the big chunk of the gain is actually right now the third quarter um, and... People why would that be? Oh, the very low inventory that resale well, is. Yeah, yeah, but why would it all? Ha why would a lot of them be bundled up late in the year? I don't know why. Build times. Ah. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of build time that happens. That a lot of the sales happen still at the prime eight, prime time, and then they then they sell. So now that's the good question. Now are these numbers based off what they went under contract for, or are these numbers it's actual closings. closings? It's actual closings. So these closings, some of these some of these builders are uh, nine months to build, like a right. Toll Brothers, a large Toll Brothers. Right. Some of them are as little as three to four months to build. Yeah. Um, so it really depends. So, but if you're talking a nine month build right now, you know that we have a, a bunch of those that are probably closing. That's a good point. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. So just a little bit more time. And that's one of the only reasons why people, why there wouldn't be more new homes sold. Yeah. Because you can't just walk in and buy one. <laughs> yeah. And the number two new home community, which is a surprise, is called Valley Vista in North Las Vegas. And, you know, the number one builder up there actually is D.R. Horton. I don't know if you know much about Valley Vista. Um, I don't know much about Valley Vista, but I, of course I know a lot about D.R. Horton. Yeah, D.R. Horton has, I mean, so many, like five, six, seven different developments. And then there's the Lennar. But the bulk of the builder up in the Valley Vista is D.R. Horton. Yeah. And D.R. Horton is one of the only builders that I know of right now that offer build your home in 90 days. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, they are uh, across the America. They are a national builder. Yeah. They're a very, a very reputable builder because of that. Um, so, you know, and, and they've probably got a nice chunk of uh, land over there that they bought. Yeah. And so this, this Vista area, uh, this Valley Vista area is I'm going to guess it's all part of the newer North Las Vegas area. Yes. Um, it's, that's a wonderful area, really. Some people think, oh, you know, you yeah, it's tag. Yeah, between Decatur and Jones okay, on so the 215. You, so, yeah, you, and, and basically that's right where, that's very close to where Vegas stops and North Las Vegas yep. begins. it's right on so the cusp. if you're looking for a deal in Las Vegas, a, a, a price, but you will still want that home, a better price, but yep. you still want an awesome home, I think that's a great place to look. It is. It is an awesome place. I've been sending a lot of my clients um, some searches there because, I mean, 90 days, it's not bad at all. Right. So let's Let's go over their numbers. Um, they sold 320 homes in third quarter and up 122 from third quarter 2019. So that's really good. Obviously, 
uh, the reason it has such a huge increase is because it was just a very new development right. last year. Now, now the word's getting out, and people are they're pounding the pounding the pavement trying to find right. new homes. And uh, they sold 792 for the year so far, up 232 from the same period a year ago. So basically, they're you know the new home market rebounded again in June when a lot of the stay-at-home orders were lifted and a lot of people were able to get out. And, you know, they're going to remain strong for a long time as long as we remain having low inventory. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the low inventory always benefits new homes. Yeah. So now the builders are on track to surpass their 2019 numbers. No surprise here. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> so the number three uh, community is Cadence and Henderson. Love it. Yeah. And have you guys ever been to Cadence? It's, uh, you can go there off of Galleria in the 95. Mm -hmm. um, yes, you, you can go? take that way yeah. or you can take down Lake Mead. Uh, yeah. Um, and I, basically the 215... Uh, south c continues down east and just turns into the road that would lead you right to Cadence. Yeah, it's a big, big yeah. undertaking. It was a many-year project and probably has been ex excelled by many years. I think they're 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 on track to beat their forecast for when they thought they'd get this community done. Um, I think. Nice. Um, so let's go over their numbers. They sold 204 homes in third quarter, which is 47 percent higher. Then 139 sold in third quarter of last year. Of course, again, they keep on growing too. Yeah. Um, so that's a good reason why theirs jumped tremendously. Yeah. And, and they've got other builders that are adding to there too. So there yeah. were some builders that hadn't started yet there that had land there to build on. And now they're adding in. So you're getting, you're, you're getting a tremendous uh, momentum happening. So, so far for the year, there's 546 homes, which is 17% higher than the year before. As was mentioned prior, Inspirata comes in at number four. four. <laughs> so this master plan community had 160 sales for third quarter, the same number they had for third quarter in 2019. And for the year, they had 442 sales, which is actually down 12.4% from 2019. So that's kind of interesting. It's not surprising to me though, because Inspirata, while it is still growing and they're still doing, they are filling out over there. They're, yeah. they're towards, you know, they're getting towards the end of, of where they're at. And really it's, it's such a popular area that they've been able to kind of keep raising their prices. And I think that probably has led to what they, they must have calculated. We'll raise our place, prices. We may not have as many sales, right. but we're going to have still plenty of volume. And I think that probably would be why. Yeah, and I mentioned this um, in my Red Point video. I have a very good friend that lives in Stonebridge in one of the new home builds over there. And they stated that they're not going to be really seeing a lot of lots until they get the next price increase. So then I decided to look at my numbers and update my website, make sure I'm up to par with producing the right numbers. And the new home builds have gone up by 20,000, if not more, since the beginning of the year. Yeah, not, again, not surprising. <laughs> I mean, they've been careful about it, but I think... <laughs> but they've been having Yeah. every couple of weeks. I mean, they didn't have as many price increases for the first six months, but now that... You know, yeah. typical now supply the, and demand. The coast is clear. Right. Their activity is, is uh, you know, it's pretty, um, it's consistent. Solid. Yeah. So that, that tells them what they need to do. That's their directive. And also something we mentioned earlier, which is about interest rates, which mm. is continuing to allow them to do that kind of a price increase. Right. Well, but the thing is, you got to figure, though, when they first get the home built, they don't get a pre they get pre-approved. However, the home's not going to be done for another six months, so we have to rely on what's the interest going to be in six months or so, right? True. They don't Unless lock somebody in. locks in and 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 uh, you know, which costs them money. How can you money. lock that? You can lock it if you pay for it. Oh. And if it's worth it, you might. But be again, because the rates have been so consistent, and they're really the forecast was that they were going to continue okay. lower. I think there was a, a lot of of um, confidence for buyers to go into new homes. Right, makes sense. Mm -hmm. So the number five community is the villages at Tule Springs, which is another new master plan community in North Las Vegas and it is actually beautiful the whole entrance to it all the name brand builders are there even Pardee's there um, so they sold 143 homes in third quarter down from 153 a year ago third quarter but for the year they sold um, 
419 homes, 7% higher than the year before. So they're still doing pretty good, but I guess third quarter, they kind of had a decrease compared to last year. Yeah, hey, I wouldn't worry about it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and the number six master planning community is Sky Canyon. I love Sky Canyon. Yes, very nice. It's very nice. And it's in the northwest side of the valley. They sold 120 homes for third quarter, which is only three fewer than third quarter 2019. And for the year, they sold 395 homes, which is up 8% from a year ago. Not bad. Yeah. Moving on. So it seems like North Las Vegas and Henderson seem to be the, the go-to communities right now. Because the next one, number seven, is Lake Las Vegas. Yeah. <clears throat> I think these areas have had a lot. They have a lot of space. They have master plan communities. Um, you know, so those, when, when they're True. filling out those, they take a while. And it coincides with the market being strong. Right. Yeah, you're right. Because, you know, Henderson has a lot of room to grow on the east, southeast side of the valley. A little, little bit more room. We're running out, though, folks. Yes. We're running out. And what does that mean for home prices in the, in the long term? Well, yeah. everything's going to keep on going all the way to Bonnie Springs <laughs> or yeah. past Mount Charleston and yeah. go to Creech because Creech has a whole new home development, but we're not going to go there. So anyway. You're telling me people should buy houses in Pahrump again? Uh, no. <laughs> Nothing. We're, we're making our way out far out from Vegas. Well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. The number eight community is Coronado Ranch. And if you're not familiar with that, that's in the southwest side of the valley. Mostly all American West American type West homes. builder. Yeah. Yep. And they had 165 sales for the year. But American West was bought out by Pulte, I think. Did Pulte buy them? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. The owner of American If you guys West. know who bought American West, let us know in the comments. Yeah, we could probably look that up. But <laughs> I, I sold the owner of American West's home a few years back. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was my buyer bought it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, so they had 165 sales for the year and had 194 through the... Uh, quarter third quarter last year and the last few not too many numbers was posted so we're just going to go over them briefly and the ninth spot was highlands ranch um they had 163 sales and third quarter they had 174 for 2019 number 10 is sedona ranch in north las vegas they had 132 sales and down from a year ago at they had 168 Okay. And number 11. Probably raise their prices too high. Could be. It's in North Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Sedona Ranch. I don't even know where that's at. I don't even know where Highlands Ranch is. Sedona Ranch. Do you Sorry. know where Highlands Ranch is? Southern Highlands probably? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, no, actually, I don't know where no. that is. And number 11 is Southern Highlands with 117 sales down from 148 a year ago. Of course, you know, these, these communities are probably almost... Closed out, filled out. Yeah. So that's probably their sales. Southern, are down. Southern Highlands has been around for a long time, but kind of got stunted. So there was a lot of rooms that they didn't build on. Right. And now they're back to getting it all filled out. Yeah. And the number 12 is um, Mountain's Edge. Mountain's Edge. They had 108 sales, two fewer from 2019. Uh, again, Mountain's Edge, a community that was started uh, several, several years, years ago, ago. yeah. And it was stunted and now is back on track, but doesn't have a whole lot left. I mean, no. there's some land out there, but it's not in the Mountain's Edge master plan community. So they're just going to fill that sucker out. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing how everything is getting uh, squeezed. Yep. <laughs> like you think, you know, Summerlin has another 20 years left of development, but it's just like with the rate it's going, it may not be 20 years because yeah. um, Stonebridge didn't take that long to develop. Usually yeah. a village takes a few years, maybe five years plus. But Stonebridge was fast. Now we got Red Point and Red Point Square. And then we got Mesa Ridge left in the mesas. So, I mean... Yeah, for the most part in the last 20 years, with the exception of obviously things that happened in the uh, the, the Great Re Recession, right? Um, it, it, Vegas has exceeded expectations when it comes to how fast they would get projects done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's it for our special edition, and this will be our last market update of the year. Um, if you'd like to download the full report provided by the Las Vegas Realtors, I posted a link down in the description below. If you would like to buy or sell... You know who to call, right? One of us. Yeah. We have our information down at the bottom as well. Um, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Share with a friend. And subscribe to my channel if you want to learn 
everything about Las Vegas, about Las Vegas master plan communities and the like. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye everybody.